So I'm the founder and CEO of What Consult, and my talk is about uh, superheroes of digital. And superheroes in general, I'm, I'm a bit fascinated with them. And if you look at all the superheroes, you'll realize superheroes are born out of adversity, right? Iron Man almost died before he became Iron Man. Batman had a really troubled past. Hulk, you know, you get the hint, right? I mean, they're born out of adversity. And a lot of, uh, you know, great company presentations uh, were made out here, which were only talking about successes. Uh, I hate success stories. I love failure stories. So I'm going to talk about my failure, right? Jan 2007 is when I started uh, What Consult uh, as a social media specialist. Today we are a full service agency. And um, trust me, um, forget 75 room full of marketers wanting to listen to digital. Uh, I couldn't even get one marketer to buy social media. Right? This was when Facebook was not even open. And I've had, uh, at that point in time, marketers, and including my employees, leave my company saying this is not going to take off. Right? So I actually remember those days very clearly. Not only that, October 2008, I had to pretty much shut down uh, what Consult because uh, the Lehman Brothers incident happened and clients did not pay up and all of that. And we were very bad at our finances. We're better off right now. Right? Uh, adversity is a great thing. Right? Uh, it makes you stronger. It makes you believe in yourself. And especially when adversity hits you, uh, when you love something a lot. Right? Uh, just to give you a sense, this is how our office looked when we restarted in January 2009. It's an 180 square foot office in Bazaar Gate above paper, uh, printers, and all of that. It doesn't even have a, a, a bathroom inside. Uh, it had a bathroom outside, which was an Indian toilet. Okay? Um, the reason I'm telling you this is this is 2009. Right? Today, that's our reception. It is almost 400 square feet. Right? Um, I'm going to come to how all this connects to superhero of uh, digital. Today, we are a 200 people company uh, with 48 awards last year, 49 awards this year, across eight award shows, right? three cities. We do everything from social, digital, video, mobile. Right? We focus on the three pillars that we call belling the cat. We always think of ourselves as the mice in the space. So we say it's all about belling the cat, which is creativity, analytics, and technology. We have 20 tech developers, 35 design and video guys, 15 analytics, 20 people in media planning. Bam, right? We work with so many clients, right? These are half the list. That's the other half. How did we get here, right? 2009, you wouldn't even walk into my office, right? Uh, and I kid you not, I invite everybody to my office in Bombay which is our headquarters uh, now, to see what we are uh, doing there. Right? This is some of our work, if anybody wants to check it out, uh, case studies .com. Right? So we're this today, but we're taking it up a notch higher. This is called a 10-minute innovation. So we've actually, uh, two weeks ago, uh, and this has been happening for the last two and a half months, uh, me as the CEO and my company, committed to innovation as, as the heart of digital. And innovation to create, obviously, brand experiences eventually, but innovation also for the sake of doing something new, something different. Right? And that's where we've created an innovation lab inside our office. So we've, you know, Bombay real estate is very expensive. Uh, everybody understands that. And we've committed 500 square foot space only for innovative ideas, solution, media, and all of that. And I'm just going to quickly show you a short video of what all we've already achieved in terms of working solutions, and obviously the brand applications that could be manifold of that. So this is our 3D printer. Right, uh, which we have invested in. It's our first 3D printer. And you can print anything. You can connect it to the web as well. And tweets can make people create what they want. This is a bionic arm which can be pre-programmed to do any action. It's non-fabricated right now. But this is two weeks old, right? this innovation lab. This is a robotic waiter which can be pre-programmed for any route in a bar, in a club. It could carry a Pepsi, can of Pepsi, can of Coke. Everybody gets the hint. 
you know, maybe a glass of milk. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a superhero that you can see, but it's not there. Uh, this is 3D modeling plus augmented reality. So he'll actually sh turn his head when you look at it. And the applications are crazy, right? If you can have moving 3D objects that come out of thin air, that's interesting, right? Uh, as we move on, that's a robotic ball which moves and you can create any character and any gamification. So it's actually a ball, but you, on the screen you see something else. Gesture control, you can do anything with screens. And all these technologies don't work only in silos, they work individually as well. This is an EEG device through which you can make a blink and drink game. So we've added beer to add fun to our office. You can also have other Pepsi, Coke. Obviously a drone, which is very common, also sometimes banned, that's a hoverboard. So I, that works on pressure sensors. I wanted to get it to this conference. When you put pressure, it moves ahead, it moves back, right? The point I'm making with these innovations is this is just a start. We started with this, all of this, right? Uh, the idea is to keep creating and pushing the bar with physical, digital, online, offline, mobile innovations that brands can do and grow from. Uh, you know, we as what Consult, as I showed you, came from very humble beginnings. Uh, we didn't even know we would reach up. Uh, the realm of possibility for us uh, was never there. And now when we've reached here, the realm of possibility for us is limitless, right? And that's the way I look at it. So what, what makes, what makes a, a, a superhero, what makes him work, right? And these are not just digital lessons. I, I truly believe that life teaches us more than any technical jargon will ever will. I think the first thing you need to do to be truly a superhero at anything is love. You need to love what you do. You know, I truly and genuinely love what I do. I get excited by digital. I get excited by seeing new campaigns. I get excited by advertising. It keeps me awake at night, right? I look at global campaigns, Indian campaigns, and I truly, truly believe that we, as in we, as what consult, and we, as the Indian advertising marketing industry, should be doing something much greater, right? And that's love is very important. So when you look at your team, yourself, just truly ask yourself, do you really love what you're doing, right? Because if you don't, it's not going to create that magic. It's not going to be superheroish. The second is belief. You know, I, I see a lot of trust issues that people have uh, within their teams, outside their team, with vendors, partners. The best campaigns that we've done, right, and we've won a lot of awards uh, this year for some of them, has been with clients where there is a belief between two partners that are working. They believe in our capability, they believe we'll handle it, right? I'll give you one example. Uh, for a hospitality client, uh, there was a recent crisis situation where there was a natural calamity in parts of India, right? And people were stuck in the, uh, you know, the hotel, for that matter. And my team members were there at 12 o'clock in the night helping the client respond to these severely critical queries, as you can imagine, right? Uh, and that's belief, right? You'll handle it, I'll handle it. I think belief, self-belief is very, very important. The third is risk, okay? Um, it's uh, been said before, I think, but it's very important for us to try and at least attempt something which is we have not attempted before. If you don't do that, you can't be great. Forget save the world, right? The last most important is mission. A lot of times we see objectives, briefs. Uh, it's important that people start having missions that are beyond deliverables, but are more philosophical in nature. And I genuinely be, believe that is more easy to understand for people than 10 you know, Excel numbers written on a chart. Uh, and I'll, I'll actually narrate what mission, what consult, as an agency has carved out two weeks ago uh, in our new office that we've created. We have a superhero theme office, so we've created a mission called Born and Raised in the Digital World, an ad agency on a mission to save the internet one campaign at a time. You see, it doesn't talk about how many crores of business we'll do, how we'll win clients. It doesn't talk about anything. It talks about campaigns on the internet and saving 
the internet with that. So it's about a, a campaign that could be global, it could be anywhere. It's about inspiration, right? And I think one of the things that severely lacks among, um, you know, that I see lacks is inspiration. We need to be inspired, charged up to achieve what we want to, right? Um, and that's actually an inspiration wall art at our office. You know, when you go back tonight, uh, in each one of your rooms, you'll see a Google Cardboard. And we've actually created a 360 degree um, uh, walkthrough of our new inspired office and our mission. And you, it's very easy to download an app on Android or check it out on YouTube as well with an iOS phone. And go back, check it out. I genuinely feel that there's a lot more this community can do which inspires, which makes people stand up and clap. And I think we should aim for that. Thank you.